the link and it'll come right here to the program studio. Now let's go back to our newsmaker line and see if we have Mitch Battress back with us. Mitch, are you there? I'm here. Mitch, in all your years of study of, of the of the environment and the, and the uh, meteorological changes, what one would you say actually disturbed you? Uh, in my study of all the earth changing events, everything that, everything that you've seen, the Sumatra, the Sumatra tsunami, mm -hmm. uh, that that I, I just I just had not conceived of, of such a thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, close to 300,000 people dead, uh, mm -hmm. 9.0 earthquake mm -hmm. um, in the uh, off of Sumatra. Mm -hmm. That that was just unbelievable. And, and then when the, the photos came back, I, I had to take a double look at, at what I was looking at. My mind could not believe what I was seeing. In, in this, this was a picture of the bodies in, in, in the water. Uh, mm -hmm. It was just unbelievable. I, I, I just couldn't conceive mm -hmm. of, of, of such devastation. Mm -hmm. And uh, was that due to natural causes, or is that, it was that a, a cyclical event? Was it uh, just a, a part of an escalation? Are we going to see another one of those? Yes, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can't tell you where. Well, I'll tell you where I'm, 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 I'm thinking it could happen. The next one could happen at the Cascadia subduction zone. There, there, it happened before. Uh, it has about a 300-year cycle, and it happened last time about 300 years ago, wiping out part of Japan. Uh, again, it was just off the Washington, uh, Oregon coast, mm -hmm. uh, and we got some of the backwash here, mm -hmm. uh, but, the, but the wave, the thrust of the wave went outwards over the Pacific and hit mm -hmm. Japan, uh, all documented in, in uh, killing quite a few people mm -hmm. there. Uh, so, yes, I, I, uh, it, yes it, it will happen again. Uh, Mitch, let me, let me ask you, and uh, the, this is not a a religious program by any any means but i, I do want to ask because i know that uh, some listening to this program would would uh, ask the question that's always asked during these uh, horrific events uh, if god exists why would three hundred thousand people be killed by a meteorological event do you have an answer for him well i i not 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 when i think that'll satisfy everybody uh that the, it was an idea and we had had a conversation about this uh, once before and you know could, could were these people punished no so i don't mm -hmm. i don't believe in the punishment thing i believe that 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 was just part mm -hmm. of their of their journey part of their their cycle reasons of of why uh, you know uh, p people live or die for whatever reasons i couldn't mm. tell you cycle of death uh, but I do, I, you know, I, I, uh, I put my metaphysical hat on from time to time. Mm -hmm. You betcha I do. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that um, the death of, of, of some people, not only is it part of their journey, but, but part of that whole event is the effect on other mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. uh, to, for example, uh, uh, what karma, a, a two-year-old child getting hit by a car and dying, yeah. What possible karma could a two-year-old have to, to, to attract that? Well, my, my, my guess would be it has very little to do with the two-year-old child, but it mm -hmm. has to do with the mother and the father mm -hmm. and the person driving the car. Mm -hmm. In other words, it, it, yeah. it, if there is a belief, if there is such a divine order, then an event like that isn't necessarily just about the child. Mm -hmm. It's about all the people involved in that mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. Um, let me ask you, uh, Mitch, do you think that uh, psychologically uh, <clears throat> humans are altered in any way when there are coronal mass ejections or any of the uh, uh, larger um, uh, meteorological events that happen? Uh, do, do people, can people be, their mentality be changed on a global scale because of, of weather-related issues? Yes, they can. Uh, and uh, you know when I, I wrote it in the book, so it was it, you know what I'm telling you now is, is not uh, armchair quarterbacking. This was this, I put it I, I put my neck out before uh, the science caught up to it. Now there's uh, some well peer reviewed uh, in several journals that document uh, that uh, charged particles is these magnetic flux that we get has a mm -hmm. direct effect on people. What well, was documented before the, the, the acknowledgement of, of uh, magnetic influence uh, yeah. or manipulation with, with mm -hmm. the, the human grid mm -hmm. is that of animals. Um, the best known, of course, would be the dolphins and whales mm -hmm. beaching, them, uh, beaching themselves mm -hmm. uh, because the magnetic grid lines had been uh, thrown mm -hmm. off. Uh, 
-hmm. and of course migrant birds as well yeah. also that fly uh, yeah. uh, along uh, magnetic mm -hmm. grid lines. Mm -hmm. So when these magnetic storms come around and hit us and, and throw throw mm -hmm. things off, mm -hmm. uh, you bet it has a, an effect. And, mm -hmm. uh, if you those that kind of understand the the, 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 the the principle of acupuncture, what an acupuncturist does is simply manipulate these things called meridians, these energy points mm -hmm. that run through the body. Right. Uh, so the idea is that there is a magnetic grid that surrounds mm -hmm. the, the human, actually all living things. Okay. And you, uh, you treat this person by manipulating that magnetic grid, mm -hmm. uh, what we call meridians or, or, or uh, energy points. Okay. Um, and, and I believe in it. It's been around for over 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, that's the, you know, just further evidence uh, of that. And then mm -hmm. more recently, which was first started in the universities, like mm -hmm. most uh, medical studies are, is this transcranial uh, stimulation. Uh, uh, and, and what they're using it for is uh, mood and personality disorders. Yeah. Uh, and it's working. It's working wonderfully. It's, it's non-intrusive, and all, mm -hmm. what it does is it's a, it's a magnetic uh, stimulus that, that is mm -hmm. right, placed right on the, on the, on the crown. Yeah. Uh, of the head, and and uh, and, it's, okay. and it's having some wonderful effects. Um, uh, well, with, uh, Mitch, let me let me ask you. You you, you said that uh, the humans appear to be uh, surrounded by a magnetic grid. Uh, other people may call that an aura. Well, okay, uh, that that's fine. I I, um, uh, I I again, I keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. That that that, mm -hmm. uh, that I you mm -hmm. know, it makes sense. I I, I wish I had the gift of, of, yeah. of seeing those things. Well, we we have the gift of spooky over here, so we're always going to ask questions like that or try to twist them around back into that. But hey, uh, let me ask you um, this: uh, these these weather um, anomalies that seem to be happening, um, and I think from coast to coast here in the United States, anyway, people say, well, you know, their their weather is weird. Something's going on. Um, and do, would you, in, in any of those cases, have you, or I don't know the cases, but it generally, like say from your website, do you tell them that they should just relax and let the weather happen? Uh, have you been able to help somebody with your information that you've got? If, say if somebody goes to uh, your website there, let me announce it too, by the way, uh, earthchangesmedia.com. If somebody goes there, has, has anyone said, yeah, I went to Mitch's website and uh, his, his uh, information there helped me make a decision? Or is, is it on that scale or is it just mere information and uh, you're just really just telling people uh, maybe putting it together in, in, a, in a written form with something they may already know? Uh, well, the, the answer is uh, complicated but also simple. Uh, um, there, there, uh, the, the, anything that has to do with preparedness is free on my site, and I do have a link uh, called, um, uh, what do I think, pre preparedness, or, or uh, pre uh, survival tips, okay. survival tips, Okay. totally free. And when you click right. on that link, uh, you'll have, it, it breaks it down into every natural disaster that can occur, can occur okay. such as an earthquake, a hurricane, mm -hmm. uh, tornado, and so forth. And uh, in the subcategories, it tells you how to prepare, you know, your basic uh, preparation. Right. Okay. So I put my Red Cross and FEMA hat back on. And, and mm -hmm. uh, what really does help people is, is when they do have a physical preparedness, which, which, uh, which would be the seven-day uh, basic uh, supplies, mm -hmm. uh, right. canned foods and mm -hmm. water and so forth, that does make a difference on how a person reacts emotionally when these events occur. Okay. Uh, now, to the question that I, I still get every week, okay. uh, Mitch, where should I move? Where should I live? Where should I live? And they don't like my answer usually because uh, what I tell them, it's not where you live, it's who you live with that's going to make the difference. I was back in television, uh, this before I switched to radio, mm -hmm. so it was like 2000, 2001. I had a geologist on the show, uh, and he brought with him some transparencies. Uh, which, which finally had a map in the transparency, a map of the okay. United States in these transparency. Mm -hmm. And I'm live. I'm live on the mm -hmm. show. Okay. And we're talking about, uh, you know, at the time I thought there might be safer places to live. And he says, no, nope. you know what, Mitch? I brought this map here. Let's go over a few things. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I already started to sweat when he brought that up. Mm -hmm. But this is what he did methodically. All right. He said, Mitch, you see this area over here? He's pointing to the Gulf, uh, Gulf Coast there in mm -hmm. Florida. He mm -hmm. says, you don't want to live there. Hurricanes, bad. That. So he, he puts his transparency at hurricane. Okay. You see this area over here, Mitch, and he's uh, showing me Arkansas, Arizona, uh, uh, Arkansas, uh, uh, Oklahoma, 
uh, uh, Missouri.